hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to transit from one splash screen to another splash screen without any buttons uh, in the for letter i'm going to use um, a property called timer and routes so with help of these two parameters i'm going to show you how we can do it so currently i have a sample splash screen which i created in my previous video so i'll leave a link in the description as to how you could create this splash screen and um, it's very simple and i've also added the gradient feature in it so so i'll leave a link in, in the description so this is the first splash screen so what i've done is i have duplicated the same splash screen with different colors and different icons and a text to indicate that this that this is a splash screen too similarly i've created another one which is the splash screen 3 with a different color a different icon text stating splash screen 3 so let's get started it's very simple so first thing that you would need is um define your routes so I'm using a main.dat file which launches your first splash screen so that happens automatically so I'm going to define a variable called routes it has two parameters one is string and widget builder and in this I'm going to define my routes so the route to my second splash screen is splash2. And the path to this is build context. And this is routing to splash screen 2. In a moment I'll show you what is this splash screen 2 is all about. So this splash screen 2 is this file. So I'm using this class reference and referring here. Now I also need to import the splash screen 2 dot file. colon here there you go um, a semicolon to end this and this goes with the comma so similar way we'll also define another splash uh, another route for the splash screen 3 and this is and this um, label that you define here is should be same as the one here so pick that and use it and we'll also import the corresponding splash screen okay there you go so you've defined your routes next in your main you just got to define it The variable okay that's it this is what we do in our okay there's a missing semicolon so this is what you do in your main dot is you define your routes for your splash screen 2 and splash screen 3 depending on the number of splash screens you have you can define so many routes so once you're done with it, go to your first splash screen file. Here, what you do is, first it launches the splash screen and after a few seconds, it has to move to the splash screen too. So what you do is, in your state, that is this class, you create, call the init state method. And in this init state method, what we do is, we define a timer with a duration 
seconds i give 10 seconds and i use the functional expression and then i use navigator i'm going to say it's going to navigate push named it has a context and it has a root name this root name is the one that's mentioned in your main dot dot so i want it to root to the second splash screen so i'm just going to use it. so use a double quote and mention your root name and for the to in order to use the timer we need to import a package called dot async there you go so when the first splash screen launches after 10 seconds it goes to this particular route where it is splash to screen has been defined so similarly you want your splash call this same init method and instead of splash 2 I'm going to say splash 3 and I'm also to find the package which is dot async there you go okay and this is a splash screen 3 so it's simple you just need to follow two steps one is def three steps in fact one is a minor one define your root mention that in your main file and then in your init state give a timer and mention the splash to which you want to root to so this way you would be able to transit so i'm going to build this flutter app and uh, i'll show you how it looks on an emulator so the file has built um, so you see the first thing splash screen one now after 10 seconds it got shifted to splash screen two because we've given it a duration of 10 seconds now after this you see splash screen three so this is how it transits smoothly from one splash screen to another splash screen without any next button or skip button with the help of flutter timer and routes